taking a look at the videos and dissecting what happened. Does this constitute an attack on a public and armed vessel of the Philippines and can it invoke the Mutual Defense Treaty? And is that why the government has been kind of slow to release their statements on what happened uh, in June 17? Well, uh, well, it's very concerning. And in fact, I would characterize it as an es a further escalation of what's happening there. I wouldn't uh, characterize it as something that really amounts to an armed attack. So in international law, the test is uh, scale and effects. No? And if you look at the jurisprudence of international tribunals, scale and effects would usually involve deaths and widespread destruction of facilities. So right now, uh, what happened, although it's quite serious, and many people think, and I also tend to think, that it's just a matter of time before someone actually uh, gets killed. But right now, it's not yet an armed attack under uh, international, and even under the provisions of the Mutual Defense Treaty of 1951.